for a live look from St. Peter's Basilica as Pope Francis is inaugurated, the new leader of the Catholic Church. I believe what they're doing right now is passing out uh, communion, the Eucharist uh, right now. He has about 200 or so priests who are going to travel that crowd of potentially 300,000 or more to give out the, the body and the blood. The Archdiocese of Cincinnati will be celebrating the election of Pope Francis with a mass at St. Peter in Chains downtown at 515 this evening. Just one of many celebrations, including this one. Nine on your side reporter Mario Ramirez is live with the Sisters of Notre Dame in Covington with reaction to what's happened so far in Rome this morning. Mario. Good morning, Catherine. The Sisters of Notre Dame have chosen to gather here in the community room to watch this little piece of history. And for some interesting perspective, I want to talk to Sister uh, Margaret Agnes, who you've witnessed six of these live in, in Rome. Rome. I was in Rome, yes, for six of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what have you noticed that is different about this one? And let's say, for example, the Pope's homily that he just ran through. The Pope's homily was absolutely splendid because I think it's he spoke from his heart to our heart. And it was um, something that we all needed to hear, that tenderness and love that has to be in government. And um, Okay, and talk I, about the simplicity of what you've seen so far. Simplicity. I think the, the grandeur of this, it, I'm just so happy to be here to experience this once more. And to see the grandeur of it and the simplicity in that grandeur. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's really, it's going right to my heart and I feel like I'm right there. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And again, about four sisters here at Notre Dame watching this live moment. You can watch live on WCPO.com or on Channel 9.2. Reporting live here in Covington, Mario Ramirez, not on your side. Mario, thank you. And of course, we'll be taking you live there for the next hour. The